The DRB8833 H-Bridge module is an excellent component when you need to control DC motors for your MicroPython-powered robotics project. It is much smaller than the LM298N in terms of form factor but offers the same functionality. Using this component with your Raspberry Pi Pico W, then you can use this to control the speed and direction of your DC motors. As you can see here, I have my Pico W and the DRB8833H bridge module and my robot car kit with some external batteries. It can move forward, backward, turn left or right, and even adjust the speed settings. Just by changing the PWM value for the input pins of this module, then you can control the direction and the speed of your DC motor. If you want to learn more, then let's start exploring. Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing about the Raspberry Pi Pico W motor control using the DRB8833 module. The DRB8833 device is a dual H-bridge component capable of driving two DC brush motors, a bipolar stepper motor, solenoids, or other inductive loads. It provides a dual bridge motor driver solution for toys printers, and other mechatronic applications. We will use this module in driving our small robot car, like this image, where we will control the direction and the speed of the two motors. But before we continue, let us discuss first what an H-bridge circuit is. An H-bridge circuit is an electronic circuit that switches the polarity of the voltage being applied to a load. So, as you can see in here, we have an, in, an inductive load here, which is a DC motor, wherein there is a supply, 5 volts and a ground, and 4 switches here. So, as you can see from this image, if we switch on the S1 and the S4, then you would notice that the motor runs in a counterclockwise direction. At the same time, if we switch S3 and S2, then you would see that the DC motor is running in clockwise direction. So, the DRB8833 follows the principle of the of this H-bridge circuits. So, that's why we are able to move our robot car forward or in reverse position by just changing the polarity that is being applied to our DC motor. This image shows the pinout of the DRB8833 module. It contains four input pins for the two H-bridge module. So we have here the IN1 and the IN2 and the IN3 and IN4 combination. At the same time, it has the OUT1, OUT2, and OUT3 output combination where we will connect our DC motors. The EEP pin is used if we want to control the sleep cycle of this device by the OUT pin will be pulled to low when an error occurred like an over voltage or the temperature is spiking up. It has the usual BCC and ground connection with built-in oversupply and undercurrent protection. For the schematic of this project, we will just follow this particular image. I am using an external battery power in here so that we can power the DC motor externally from our Raspberry Pi Pico. While the Raspberry Pi Pico W is powered through the USB. So for the table, just follow this this table for the connection between the, the different components. But before we proceed, let's discuss first about how we are going to control the movement of our DRB8833. If we go into the datasheet of the DRB8833, Take a look at the table, then you would notice that if we pass in a PWM output in IN1 and a 0 into the IN2, then it will move in forward direction and the pass decay. But if we pass in a 0 in the IN1 and a PWM output in IN2, then it will move in the reverse direction with the pass decay option. For now, 
we just use the, the pass decay option for our project. And if we now go into the code on how I was able to move the two DC motors in forward and reverse direction, then you just have to take a look at my at this code. This code is available in my GitHub repository for you to take a look. So let's now discuss about this robot car. As you can see in the robot car, that py class, we just created a class called the robot car. And in the constructor of the class, it is expecting a list of motor pins where we connected the in one, in two, and in three, in four combination. It is expecting also a frequency with a default value of 20,000. So what it is doing is just, it creates four variables with the P PWM setup. And then at the same time, we set the frequency into the default value, which is the 20,000. The max duty cycle is 65,535, and the minimum duty cycle is zero. So as you can see, initially, the current speed of our robot car is set to the maximum. If you are not interested in the PWM or changing the speed of the DC motors, then you can leave it at these two values which is 0 and the 6535. This class, robot car, contains several functions to make it move, like this move forward, backward, turn left, and the turn right, including this stuff. As you can see from the this diagram, you would notice that I'm just setting the duty cycle of the pin 1 of the left motor and then set it to the current speed. And at the same time, if we, we, we set also the pin 2 into the minimum duty cycle, which is 0. If we go back into our table in here, then you would notice that for us to move forward, then we just need to set the pin 2 into 0 and the output, the in 1 into the PWM. So that's basically the logic that I have followed when I want the robot car to move forward or to move backward, or turn left, or turn right. So, it is important to understand how this table is being used by this program. The underscore map range function is a private method that I have used to map the values of the new speed between 0 to 100 to the duty cycle of 40,000 to 65,535. So, for example, if I call the change speed and I receive a new speed of 0, then the new duty cycle will be assigned to 40,000. However, if the value is 100, then the duty cycle will be assigned to 65,535. Then we will set this new duty cycle as the current speed. Now, the question is, how did I arrive with this value, which is the 40,000 and the 65535, the, I just did a trial and error. So I have checked the duty cycle where I have seen the DC motor to move in a particular direction and I noticed that passing this 40,000 is the smallest value that I can pass into my circuit so that I can move the DC motors. The dinit function is just used to stop our GPIO pins from output, outputting PWM signal. So that's basically how the robot car is programmed. If we go now into the main.py, this is where we use our robot car and then pass in the GPIO pins for our Raspberry Pi Pico W and then we create an instance of our robot car. As you can see from the demo, I'm just calling the different functions that it has, like move forward, backward, the stop, and then the turn left and the turn right. I have also the capability to test the speed by, by calling the change speed method. So for example, if I wanted it to move 100%, then I just pass in the speed into 100 and then call the move forward. If I want the DC motors to move at 50% capacity, then I'll just pass in 15 here in the change speed and then call again the move forward. So in the demo, as you can see, the, the movement of the DC motor moves from moving faster up to the slower. 
So basically, that is how the DRB8833 is programmed with our Raspberry Pi Pico W running MicroPython. And that's it. The code for this project, including the write-up, is available in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!